Happy Wednesday. I'm Riley Choplin here with your weekly weather wrap. It's 2 p.m. here and I've been watching the radar for most of today. We have some storms just south of Baton Rouge, but most of the day has been pretty clear here. But to our south along the coast, we've had a lot of rain most of today, leaving the coastal regions very wet. But most of that rain could push inland as we approach tonight. 10% chance at 6 and 7. And then at 6, I've got 90 degrees slowly cooling off as we go through the afternoon and into the night. 83 by 9 p.m., although our overnight low is a nice 77 degrees. Real quick here, I'm going to take you over to the tropics. Hurricane Barrel pushed in on Monday and has been tracking through most of the United States, leaving the tropics pretty quiet actually, especially compared to what we've been having for this season. But this morning, the National Hurricane Center did highlight this area off the eastern coast of the United States with a 10% chance of development. Now here we are, I'm gonna show it to you on the satellite. Just on the eastern coast of the U.S., we've got this area of disorganized thunderstorms, but we definitely have time to watch it and see if they decide to organize or not. So I'm going to take you back here in Baton Rouge. We're going to have some rain coming in the next couple of days. Now, most of the rain is going to stay to our coast, similar to today. Um, Baton Rouge falling just short of two inches, while some of the other regions are going to hit almost three inches of rain. Although this rain could change depending on if those storms decide to push inland or stay closer to the coast. Now this is going to be explained by the moisture left over from Hurricane Barrel. She came in and brought a lot of that tropical moisture and most of it has been sitting over Louisiana. So here we are on Friday, this red area being the moisture. And then we're going to go into the weekend. We're going to see this red area kind of stay over Baton Rouge on Sunday. And then as we go into later next week, we're going to see that area really just stick over southeast Baton Rouge, really bring in that humidity and possible rain chances as it heats up each afternoon. So speaking of humidity, that's going to contribute to our heat index and how hot it gets over the next couple days. Today and tomorrow, we have heat index in the upper 90s. 99 tomorrow, feeling pretty nice compared to what we've been having this summer. But don't get too excited because our regular story is going to come back by Monday. We could see some heat advisories, so definitely make sure that you're watching out and being careful over out in the heat. Now, for your seven-day forecast, we've got today high of 95 with some rain chances. Tomorrow, similar, higher rain chances, though. And then as we head into the weekend, those rain chances are going to stay in between 40 and 50 percent. Highs going up in the upper 90s. And then as we go into next week, we're going to see a similar story of rain and high temperatures. Definitely could be humid and hot, so just make sure that you're being careful when hanging out outside. That's all I have for you today. Have a great week, Tigers, and I'll see you next week.